Um, we have installed the uh, Mongo uh, Mongoose uh, library, right? Let's see how we can use it to connect to the, to the database. So we would like to con communicate with this particular database, right? So let's see, we can uh, show uh, DBs. Uh, we have here uh, whiteboard CS4500 SP20 uh, on, a, on a Mongo database that is running on port 2701 on our local host. All right, so let's do that. In, um, from, from our favorite IDE, let's, uh, let's see how we can use the Mongoose library to connect to the, uh, to the Mongo database. Uh, so here we have the server.js file that this is the entry point to our node.js express uh, server that we built uh, you know a while a while ago uh, so to connect to the mongoose library to the mongo mongo database using mongoose uh, we're going to first load the library so we're going to load mongoose uh, we're going to require the mongoose library there it is uh, and then we can use the mongoose object that comes back right we can use uh, several functions right to be able to interact with it. So in, in particular to connect to it, we use the connect function. And the connect function takes this argument, uh, takes a, um, a URL uh, telling us where is the server running. Uh, you could use either the name of the machine or the IP address or you know, wherever it's, this is being run anywhere in the world. If you know the IP address, you can connect to that database. Uh, so, so the connection is uh, going to use the MongoDB protocol and colon slash slash. It's uh, going to be uh, connecting to my local host because it's running on my machine. And I believe the port is 27,017, followed by the name of the database. And the name of the database, let's see, um, it's this one right here, right? So let's copy that. Copy that. If we head over here and we connect to it, there we go. So that, that should let us uh, connect to, to the database, uh, the, data, the Mongo database. So let's try it out. Let's run this. If we run it, uh, notice that it's complaining that uh, we forgot to configure a couple of objects, right? So let's uh, let's copy what it's complaining about, and that could be our second argument here. Let's do that. I think it's also complaining that it's missing this configuration, so let's copy that as well. And let's paste it. Let's paste the option maybe in a new line. Let's paste that, and let's restart. All right, it's no longer complaining. Perfect. Okay, so we know that we are able to uh, connect to the um, Node uh, Mongo database using uh, the Mongoose library.